everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm just here to bring you my latest um, drunk journal kits. Uh, so I've got three that um, I've listed in my Etsy shop. Um, and yeah, so this is just a video obviously to show you kind of what's in them. So I will start with this one here. Let me just raise my tripod slightly. Okay, let me move these right out of the way. Okay, so the first one um, is this. It's um, bound with this beautiful kind of burgundy colour ribbon, satin ribbon. And there is a piece of fabric trim which has just been stitched on the sewing machine. Um, this fabric trim was quite prone to fraying so I have tried to go down the edges with um, you know a, a match or you know candle to kind of stop them fraying so much. I may have missed one or two bits but if it does kind of continue then obviously that's um, you know something that you could do is kind of just go down with a match but I mean hopefully it should be fine once it's actually glued onto a page so there's that piece of fabric trim then there is on the outside of this it's basically um, the package is constructed from two envelopes being stuck together uh, so the envelopes are coffee dyed and one has got the flap one hasn't got the flap I have stuck the flap down and kind of just made a big large pocket and then I've stuck them both together um, and on this back side is basically some vintage sheet music and then a page pocket um, you know from a vintage book stitched on the sewing machine um, and obviously forming a pocket here and that's got some Tim Holtz flowers um, that have just been distressing and some ribbon going across here and a little flower that I've just kind of glued on with my hot glue gun um, and it's just one of those yo-yo flowers and it's in a kind of burgundy velvet with a little flower centre and a pearl and you've got a side pocket here and you know if you've watched my videos before and seen my kits before the idea is obviously that you can use these elements um, that are on the actual packaging in your journals too so you could obviously cut this around um, and cut this off or you could obviously pick bits off if you just wanted to use the kind of more the other other elements you know um, or you could obviously cut it and use it as you know an entire page um, and then going over the flap of the envelope here has been covered with um, vintage sheet music and then it's got a printable here, a bit of book page, a bit of lace and then this image from a vintage book that I have got. Um, and then I've just formed a little bow, kind of the same ribbon that was here and I've just glued that on and attached to that with a bulb pin is a little lace flower with a little kind of... Um, Oh, satin rose kind of flower <laughs> lose my words I'm afraid um, a satin flower in the middle and that's just backed onto a piece of felt and the whole lot's been coffee dyed um, you know to make it look very vintage so that's that so having a look at the items um, that you're going to get so you've got um, this one here now the a lot of these items have been made using my um, children's in vintage children's encyclopedia so using little images from, from that. So there's this gorgeous one of a train station and a man running there for the train. Um, we've got some lace trim down the side, some vintage sewing pattern, little flower there and another flower here and a bit of lace, uh, faux diamante trim. And that's layered up on some vintage book page. And you could just obviously stick that down on a page to use as a top loading pocket. I mean this is um, scrapbook paper but it's that double sided scrapbook paper that's pretty thick so you know it's it's pretty good to use kind of as a pocket on its own. Um, so there's that item there. Then here I've just got a little fold out kind of flip. It's just again using some scrapbook paper that's been coffee dyed and then it's got a stamped image on the front. It's got a Tim Holtz floral piece on the corner a little vintage advert and a Tim Holtz ticket there um, and obviously you know if you wanted to you could actually staple in or stitch in some more pages to kind of form more of a booklet rather than just a little flip um, you know so completely up to you really so that's that one then in here there is a little kind of um, 
coin envelope that I've just um, made here and it's basically got another one of those images from the children's encyclopedia of this gorgeous vintage car again layered up on some vintage book page some sheet music and another one of those Tim Holtz um, tickets and a flower and some lace and then I've just tied this string round um, just for kind of decoration I have glued it onto the back but obviously if you didn't like that you could just cut it um, you know so she didn't have to have that I thought it looked pretty um, and obviously you could peel it off you know from the back because it's just glued on but that's a little um, just a coin envelope there and then going inside this kind of middle part the remaining kind of paper items you've got this little fold out kind of booklet which again you could just staple in or stitch in some extra pages so it's more um, you know got more pages or you could just journal on it as is really so and it's just got some lace trim down the side and then just some string going around it there just to um, hold it closed I'm into the uh, tying things up again if you've watched my videos before you kind of know that so um, that's that and then here I've just got another one of those beautiful images from the book layered on some more vintage book page, sheet music, some lace trim down the side and some faux Monty. Another one of those Tim Holtz, uh, I was going to say Tim Holtz tickets, this isn't a Tim Holtz ticket, I think this is a crafty individual stamp but very similar. Um, and another flower there stuck on. Um, it's got some stamping around the edges which actually one or two of the other bits did as well. And again, I would just glue this down onto a page and have it as a top loading pocket like that. And then you've got two corner pockets. One is a um, bottom corner pocket, um, just with again another image from the book and some sheet music and some various bits layered up. And you could just pop that down in the corner like that. What I have been doing recently in my own journals um, is then double layering these so you've got two pockets. So if you coordinated this with some other um, scrapbook paper I would kind of glue that onto the corner of the scrapbook paper piece and then tear another piece kind of um, you know larger so you've got a kind of pocket there and a pocket there um, that's quite effective so that's that one and then here the final um, kind of paper item is again another image from the book and then just some lace trim and some vintage sheet music and again that's a kind of top loading corner pocket and you could do the same with that kind of layer it up with another um, scrapbook sheet there and you just obviously glue it on kind of like that so that's your kind of larger items um, and then also included is this little um, uh, what would you call this <coughs> excuse me um, like a kind of wage envelope that I've just created here um, just basically from some scrapbook paper that's been coffee dyed I've popped a printable on the front and some greaseproof paper with this stamped image there so again that could be used in your journal and then contained within that I've got a couple of Martha Stewart butterflies like that I've got this stamped image, this is a crafty individual's stamp of a butterfly. And these are all things that I like to use kind of in my journals. So, um, you know, hopefully kind of you will also like using them if you if you do. Um, and then a couple of my fabric stamped images onto the Hessian. And again, I have kind of tried to glue this around the edges. This one I think I use Mod Podge, this one I think I use glue, which I'm not sure that's so effective, but to just kind of stop the fraying so much. And then there is one of my little button clusters with a piece of lace and obviously the buttons and the hessian. And then you've just got a couple of um, stamped images there of some tickets. Um, you know just to kind of dress your pages up really or or tags or you know whatever really um they're all quite versatile items so that's kit number one um hope hope you liked it so i'll pop that to one side and we'll go on to the next kit so kit number two is this one 
which I have made this kind of paper package and it's been tied up with this pretty lilac, um, it's kind of like a ribbon but it's in a tubular kind of shape. Um, so yeah, I don't know really what you would call this but anyway, it was sealed <laughs> with that. Um, and then you've got a little kind of uh, fabric pouch I guess for your smaller items. So we'll look at that in a second. And the actual packaging itself of this particular kit. Um, this is an image from one of my daughter's dresses. I have used this um, fabric before, so you may recognize it. And I've just made a fabric ruffle down the bottom in the same fabric. I have stitched it onto some vintage book page. And then I've made one of those burlap bows on the sewing machine with um, then a button in the middle. Thought that looks super cute. I've layered it up here with some more of the scrapbook paper, which actually formed a pocket, which I then obviously I've forgotten to use, but yeah, you could have used that as a pocket there. So again, the idea being that you could just deconstruct this, you know, you could cut that off or you know, whatever to use on your journals. It would make a really cute cover, I think, um, for a journal. So yeah, really sweet. And then on the back of the um, paper package here, I've just got, this was a massive bow that was on the front of my daughter's dress. Um, uh, the same dress? Yeah, the same dress. I was just trying to think then. Um, the same dress. So I just literally took the bow off and I have glued it onto the package here, which actually, again, I did do it so that it was a pocket. Um, not that I have put anything in it, but... You know, so I think that's super cute, really. And then just stapled on some fabric trim. So this is just a fabric kind of ruffle um, that I've just done with the sewing machine and this pale pink with polka dots. So I've stapled that on at the top. So all you'd need to do is actually undo the staple and then you could obviously use that in your projects. And then held on with a bulb pin to the fabric trim. There's a couple of my little fabric items stamped on onto fabric and then stitched onto the hessian and there's also a little button there on the bulb pin and then also hanging from this bow there's another bulb pin with another button and there's a fabric flower there um, that again so all you have to do is obviously take them off with the bulb pin and you can use them in your projects it's just been backed onto felt and then going inside this um, this package you've got a variety of items. So obviously the outside of this package is very um, cutesy and, you know, very sweet. Um, and the items actually contained within the package are much more vintage um, in style. So, you know, um, yeah, kind of, I personally would probably use them in two different journals. So the packaging in a different one, but anyway, um, obviously kind of completely up to you how you would use it. So the first item, I've got this gorgeous, um, I call these my floating pockets. I think that was a um, Amity Bloom term. And I've just laminated in a printable here and then I've stitched the laminated sheet onto this scrapbook paper and then got some lace trim down the side that I've also stitched on. And obviously kind of when you put things in there then I think that's super cute that you can then see them through there. So there's that. And that was on double-sided scrapbook paper. So, I mean, actually the side is, you know, really beautiful too. So, you know, it's, it's really nice. So there's that one. Then here I've created another little kind of pocket. This is just some vintage book that I have um, folded over and, um, you know, says it's double in thickness. And then I've stitched on some fabric with some lace trim and a stamped image onto some other fabric layered up with some little flowers there. And that's obviously forming a little pocket in there. So you could just glue that down onto your page, you know, however you wish. And then here I've got um, some beautiful fabric with this gorgeous bird image. And I've just literally stitched that around. As you can see, I had a few problems with my sewing machine. Obviously the tension um, was, you know, playing me up and I was having troubles with it. Um, but I've just stitched that onto some coffee dyed cardstock card for some rigidity and also stitched on this um, black lace trim. So that's that one. Then here there's a little kind of pad just made with literally some scraps of um, coffee dyed paper and a little printable. And then I've stitched that on the sewing machine and then just glued on some 
um, you know, upholstery trim. Then here, um, another one of those um, kind of fabric, you know, coordinating with this one. And this one again, it's just been stitched onto some coffee dyed cardstock, um, you know, to be able to be glued into your books. And obviously the front is fabric, some more flowers and lace trim. So that's super nice. And obviously it's quite um, bendy at the moment, but once it was glued on, it obviously would no longer have that effect. So I would just kind of glue it down like that. Or actually you could have this one as a long pocket um, because this has not got obviously an image or anything depicting kind of which way it should be so you could actually have that kind of lengthways down the page would be quite nice and then here I've got um, this is a printable and I have just literally layered up some sheet music some book page some lace trim a little um, vintage kind of advert and um, some photo monte and I've just glued all of that onto this card um, you know, so uh, that then I have glued together at the sides to form another pocket like that. So, I mean, again, you could kind of just glue this down onto a page. You could glue it on three sides so you had like a double pocket. Or again, I mean, you could use these as the floating pockets, um, you know, to move around in your journal, really. And then the final larger kind of paper item is this one here, which is some book page backed onto some coffee dyed cardstock. It's got sheet, uh, not sheet music, sewing pattern all around it. It's got some layered up book page. It's got a bit of decoupage napkin here in the form of butterfly and a printable there layered up as well. So again, I would just glue that down, have that as a pocket. Um, so that's that. And then inside the little pouch, so this is just a little piece of fabric that I had. Inside you have to excuse it because it was actually glued onto something and when I've peeled it off the inside is, you know, um, picked up the paper. So, you know, that's the inside. I just wanted to point it out. I mean, obviously it doesn't detract from it because you don't really, you know, see the inside. But I just wanted to point that out and I've just glued it down the sides. And then I've got some lace trim up here a little stamped image with the word love down there and a little button here just on the corner and then attached to that with this teeny bulldog clip now I ordered some of these I can't remember whether it was Amazon or eBay um, wanted the tiny bulldog clips you know to use mainly for the kits but actually they were even tinier than I expected um, you know you kind of read the measurements and you think oh yeah that's probably the size and then obviously they arrive and they're teeny or huge sometimes um anyway I thought these were very very cute so yeah quite quite pleased with that little mistake that I made um and then I've just got a handmade little bow here that literally that can just be glued at the back and then stuck onto kind of pages tags you know pockets kind of you know however you like really again this is another thing that I just think looks brilliant wherever you put it. I mean, even just holding it here looks great. You know, kind of over here looks fab. I, I love bows and think they just look great everywhere. Anyway, so that was um, border clipped on. And then going inside the little pouch, just trying to get all the items out. They're kind of wedged in. I've just got a few Martha Stewart butterflies there and they've been distress inked as well and then I've just got a Tim Holtz ticket a little journaling kind of um, label frame um, there and then another little frame here and again I love using these kind of everywhere in journals or anywhere in journals I think they just look lovely so just kind of a selection of kind of some of my favorite things that I like using so that's that I just oh. It's too teeny, I can't actually do it. So that's just clipped onto there um, and they all go back in there. So that was kit number two. Hope you thought that was good fun. And then kit number three is basically an altered paper bag. So on the front of the bag, I also ordered some of these mini clip, uh, mini pegs which thankfully these did turn out to be the right size because obviously you get those really, really tiny ones which super cute also but I wanted kind of the medium size ones so yes I did actually get the right size that time 
So that um, was holding on this gorgeous little fabric um, heart and basically it's heart, it's I've fussy cut, well you know freehand, freestyled um, a butterfly here from fabric, stamped the word love on some other fabric and then I've stitched it all round on hessian and coffee dyed the whole lot um, and then I've just glued on on the side just this burlap bow so I think that's really nice and again I just think it looks lovely wherever you kind of put it and then here on the front of the bag I've just got a printable here layered up on some vintage book page I layered up on some scrapbook paper and then I've got this little frame here a bit more book page um, Martha Stewart butterfly and then here a gorgeous yo-yo um, flower which actually is padded because um, I've put kind of foam inside there and a button in the middle. Um, tied some ribbon around here just for interest and also because this was a freebie it had a um, you know watermark in the middle so that was just to kind of cover that up really so that's that. Uh, a bit of fabric ruffle here which I actually glued onto the bag um, so just for kind of interest really and then this uh, fabric ruffle here which is quite a good length it's been coffee dyed and I've just stapled that onto the bag so it's just stapled here at either end so all you have to do to obviously use it in your projects is take the staples out um, so that's that and then going over the back of the bag I just literally glued the flap up to form a small pocket covered it with this gorgeous 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 scrap bit paper um, inked that up and then glued on some pom-pom trim I thought that looked really cute and then this is actually a vintage image from my um, book of postcards from Jersey um, so I've used this recently in a journal um, one or two of the postcards beautiful images I mean this one's just lovely I think so I've just distress inked that and stuck it onto some cardstock um, I say cardstock, it was actually part of an old um, Christmas card so but it's got a pearlized finish and I did coffee dye it as well so it looks really pretty and I've hot glue gunned that on because I actually find hot glue gun um, the glue it's much easier to peel things off so if you wanted to peel that up it would probably come off you know reasonably okay-ish um, to use in your project or obviously you could obviously just cut it off of the bag um, but I thought that was fun to have like a vintage, um, you know, a vintage postcard to be able to use in your projects. And then I've just got a bow up here that I've just tied around the handle just for interest. And then I've made this little pouch um, bag envelope thing. So this was actually made from an envelope which I'd coffee dyed and I just kind of glued it together and doubled it over in thickness and made a little kind of pouch. So obviously I haven't decorated this side at all but the front side I have layered up some fabric and this gorgeous image layered on some other page and stapled on there and just some lace across the top. And then going inside there, oops, oh these little items just get stuck in there. Right so going inside there I've just got another one of my little bows that I love making oh I love using don't necessarily <laughs> love making these actually but um super cute in this kind of gray satin with polka dots um again I mean I just think these look beautiful wherever they're placed so I mean you could just kind of glue that onto that um postcard looks gorgeous you know glue it onto here looks great I I love them so there's that little bow then there's a little Martha Stewart butterfly which again I've inked up the edges and then a couple of stamped images here that I like using um, and then a couple of chipboard tiles this one's been covered with glossy accents and this one has just been covered with Mod Podge um, and again they're just for kind of gluing on to your pages or tags or you know covers however kind of you wanted to use them so I'll pop those back into the pouch and then going inside the bag the kind of big paper items are these so you've got a little kind of fold out um, booklet which again this is just made from old envelope and I've just stuck in some coffee dyed paper 
and then on the front I've layered up some various uh, elements and some fussy cut or not fussy cuts, fussy torn flowers I've just inked it all up then here you've got one of those book page pockets I think these are I think Patricia Viramontes um, I think they're her pockets um, so I've just stitched them around and this one I've just glued on here uh, some scrapbook paper, a printable and this fussy cut flower saying bonjour and I've just glued some ribbon and uh, lace trim across the top so that could just be obviously glued onto your pages you know however kind of you wish and then here I've just got um, oh what do you call these like a fold out kind of booklet thing so I have actually kind of bound that round with this shimmery uh, thread um, and that's just bound round here which is just one of my heart frames that I like using and I've just literally stuck it onto a foam pad and kind of stuck it there hopefully you can see that so so that it's got kind of um, you know like if you used an eyelet it's that kind of concept so it kind of goes around um, there not sure how successful that is so whoever buys this kit may want to kind of you know think up a better um, closure um, or get rid of the thread altogether and just have kind of you know um, some string or something like that but you know this was how I made it I thought it looked really pretty but the practicalities may be not so great and then going inside there you've just got some coffee dyed paper there for extra journaling and a bit of lace trim across the top and that's all been obviously coffee dyed and um, distress oops, distress inked um, you know to to use so you know as you can see this you know maybe isn't the best but you know it might be worth playing around with so that's that and then here I've just got a little fold booklet it's got lots of coffee dyed paper inside it and it's just on some scrapbook paper that's been coffee dyed and a layered up um, printable on the front and then here you've just got another one of those book page pockets I've been making lots of these lately quite fun to make um, and I've layered up various elements so this was an image from a vintage book which I actually copied um, on a photocopier and obviously I've distress inked it and then I had this crown which I've had in my stash for a while so I used that and I've fussy cut some flowers out of some scrapbook paper and distress inked the whole lot um, and pop this beautiful coffee dyed lace trim down the side as well so love that um, pocket I think that's really beautiful and then finally I've just got two kind of clusters um, which I made kind of similar to the um, Jessica Rapp ones but obviously she kind of tends to use one staple um, I can't seem to quite do that so mine are all kind of glued up together and layered up so there's this one here um, and then there's this one here which probably I would use this kind of as a top top corner um, but obviously kind of you know whoever buys this it's up to you how you obviously want to use them sorry my camera flicked off I thought I couldn't get through an entire video without that happening I was just um, saying yeah these look great kind of wherever they're placed on a page so that's um, all of your items included in kit number three so obviously they're all on my Etsy store um, and you know I hope that you liked them and thought that they were good fun um, yeah so check it out if you liked them you know give them a thumbs up that would be great and if you haven't subscribed to my channel can you uh, just click subscribe please um, that would be great thank you very much um, yeah thanks very much for tuning in and I hope you have a fab day thanks a lot bye